How to manage a can open field bus on the M580. The trainee will be able to configure the master and the slaves, two OTBs connected on the can open bus, to see how to access the device variables, and then troubleshoot the system. Be sure to have the right Unity Pro version. Version 11.1 or later and CPU version 2.20 or later. The CXM can open X80 Master, can be plugged either in the local rack or in a remote X80 drop of the M580. The only condition is to use the Ethernet backplane. You can use can open devices that are present by default in the hardware catalog manager, or create them from their EDS file, like you would on the M340 Sense Unity version 4.0. Create a new Unity Pro project. As the CXM can be scanned from the RIO or DIO scanner, we select a CPU Model 40. In this demo, we will configure the CXM in the local rack but if you use it remotely, you just have to configure a x80 drop on Ethernet IO to select an Ethernet backplane, a BMECRA31210 version 2.1 or later and the power supply. Then, all the following operations are identical. Open the PLC bus editor. Then double click on an empty slot and select the CXM in the communication folder. Select the remote profile, so that the exchanges with the CXM are managed in cinch with the PLC mass task. Rename the CXM, if needed. Unlock the security in the CPU, so it can communicate with the CXM. Then you must double click on the can open port of the CXM, for configuring the bus parameters, like the baud rate or the sync period. Validate your configuration. Configuration of the can open slaves. In the project browser, Open the can open bus editor which has been created at the CXM insertion time. Here, the operating modes are similar with M340. Double click on the node and select a device in the Unity catalog. If needed, select a function or a profile for this device, like on this ATV71. Functions define the variables, PDO and parameters supported by the can open slave and can be created in the hardware catalog manager. In this demo, we configure only two OTB remote IOs, at address 1 and 2. Here. Only one default function is available. In order to finalize the configuration and because the CXM supports the same cybersecurity protection as the CPU, it is needed to unlock the security control from its DTM. For that, simply right-click on the CXM and select Go to DTM. This will open the DTM browser from which you can launch the CXM DTM and unlock security in the security tab. Then you can build your project. 
The configuration is done. After the transfer of the PLC application, you can access the PLC variables from the application via their device DDT that have been created automatically during the build. Note, that also that all of the Ethernet IP configuration of the CXM, and the I.O. scanner tables have been managed by the system, ensuring optimized performance and minimizing the risk of errors. Diagnostics from the application, the CXM, DTM or the CXM embedded web server. In the input data of the CXM device DDT, the application can access the status of the CXM itself and that of the can open slaves. If the freshness bit equals 1, this indicates that the communication with the CXM is OK. But if the health bit equals 0, this warns that there is an I.O. error on the can open. The slave prog list shows that slaves 1 and 2 are configured. When the slave live list and diag list reports that slave 1 is OK but slave 2 is not OK. In the case of default, efficient diagnostic information are accessible from the CXM, DTM, or even better from the web server embedded in the CXM. Connect the CXM, DTM and open it and the slave live list is displayed visually. More accurate diagnostic data is available from the CXM embedded web server which is accessible directly from the CPU web server. In the slave detail and event history we can see the abort code reported by the master with its explicit meaning, SDO protocol timed out, confirming that the slave number 2 is disconnected. After solving the issue, the status of the device is OK. CXM allows to manage can open field bus in a very efficient and simple way, exactly like any in-rack communication module. The user can set up a complete configuration with the minimum of operation. Moreover, as it reuses the same configurator as M340, there is no need to train the operators a new piece of software which is an additional cost saving. Thank you for watching. For further information please visit www.schneider-electric.com or contact your local Schneider Electric representative.